Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing another air dry clay project. I wanted to do a kind of trinket tray, but particularly for my perfumes. And I will be using the tools you are seeing on the screen to achieve that. The tools are from iMagicFly. Uh, they kindly send this their set to me and you can find this kind of these kinds of tools in art and hobby shops so I will list everything in the description box below and for the air dry clay I am using my favorite air dry clay which is the Darby one uh, I usually use the white one but this time I could only find the terracotta one it worked just as fine it just is a bit messier since it is so colored so to start off I uh, rolled out my clay using the rolling pin I tried to do a rectangular shape I didn't really measure anything out I just kind of eyeballed it and then I cut out the sides of the tray or I don't know how you would call them <laughs> the ridges and I am kind of eyeballed those as well the hardest part of this process is getting the sides to stick to the bottom of the tray uh, and for doing that I used a scoring tool so basically scoring is creating ridges in your clay and then I added some water and with the spatula I tried to attach the two pieces together now this is a pretty difficult process and it does take quite a while until you get the clay smooth I used uh, the silicone uh, tool as well to getting everything smooth and yeah it's just a lot of fiddling around with the clay and trying to perfect it I don't really have too much experience with binding two pieces of clay together so this was basically the first time I did it and it was successful I do have other videos with clay projects uh, some of them <laughs> I uh, included some of my failed attempts to create something like this and I will link uh, these videos somewhere in the description as well if you're interested in that so I would recommend you use a lot of water when trying to stick the two pieces of clay together that really helps and also you can uh, do a kind of clay and water mixture if you have any holes you like to cover up or if you want to repair your clay afterwards this acts like sort of a repair glue and uh, yeah it worked really well especially for the bottom after it was dry I did add a bit of that clay and water mixture on the bottom to make everything nice and smooth so as you can see this process took me quite a long time uh, it, it is really messy but I personally really enjoy working with clay I find it really therapeutic and I do suggest you try doing this type of project if you're stuck at home or anything <laughs> or if you want to make like ceramic type things by yourself so I let the tray dry for about three days because it is a bigger piece and after that I sandpapered everything to make everything as smooth as I could get it as you can see it's really not perfect but it has that handmade quality which I really enjoy please do wear a mask when you sandpaper everything dust gets everywhere and you don't want that to get in your lungs and after sandpapering I go over the tray once again with a wet sponge just to get off all the excess dust that remained from the sandpaper and now it's ready for painting so for painting I used for the first time acrylic paint uh, I usually use gouache but I decided to go with acrylic paint for the base because it was a pretty large area to cover and I didn't want to use all my gouache paints you could do it entirely in acrylic paints it's up to you and I also use these pen paint pens from Artistro which are really nice for adding details and highlights so for the base I used a mixture of red, blue, a bit of green and to obtain sort of an indigo color the bottom I painted it in this indigo color and the inside of the tray I wanted to do something lighter so I can add some botanical elements on top I also decided to paint the rim of the tray in red uh, I thought that would be a pretty cool contrast with the bottom of the tray and the outside of the tray as well so I 
usually like like to mix all my colors I don't like to get them straight from the tube and I wouldn't be able to tell you or to link a particular color in the description box I know some of you asked me in a previous air dry clay projects uh, what colors I used in particular and uh, it's usually just a mixture of plenty more colors so as you can see here I am painting the rim um, of the tray in red this took a couple of coats to get it even and to get it as opaque as I would like it to be but it was totally worth it I think it has a pretty cool effect so for the inside of the tray I wanted to go pretty simple I did a leaf design and added a few red dots and flowers and for the background I did kind of a colored grid as you will see with the artistro pen so I will let you enjoy the rest of the painting process and I will be back at the end of the video um, to explain the varnish process and yeah so keep watching until the end of the video <laughs> thought about using resin but it was too complicated for me resin takes a lot of time and effort and you have to measure everything out so I used a gouache gloss varnish from this particular brand which I don't know how to pronounce so I'll just write it on the screen and yeah it, it usually dries within a day it's it stays really nice and glossy and it protects the paint so I hope you enjoyed this video, this is how the tray turned out after it's dry, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye! <laughs>